In this tutorial we learn how straddle slicing and the other model driven chronostratigraphy options in SIS are used to study stratigraphic details in 3D data. We will interpret a deltaic sand shale sequence of tertiary age located in the Dutch sector of the North Sea. Stratigraphic details are inherently present in a similarity cube that can be easily computed in OpenDTX attribute engine. To see these details we would like to slice through the data volume in such a way that each slice only shows information pertaining to the same chronostratigraphic level. This is difficult to achieve in the normal structural domain but quite easy if we flatten the data along chronostratigraphic horizons. It is by transforming the cube to the Wheeler domain. In this workflow we use the model driven approach in SIS to create the chronostratigraphic horizons needed for flattening the data. We have mapped a few horizons in a conventional way using OpenDetect's horizon tracker. These horizons are the bounding surfaces in between which chronostratigraphic horizons will be created. The model driven mode supports three options, parallel to upper, parallel to lower and linear interpolation. In the latter option the vertical distances between chronostratigraphic horizons are proportional to the thickness of the sequence. This is also known as straddle slicing or proportional slicing. Per sequence we choose the option that best matches the geometry of the sequence. For example for the upper sequence we use linear interpolation and parallel to upper for the second sequence. Note that we can easily control the accuracy of the chronostratigraphy and subsequent flattening by introducing more conventionally mapped horizons as bounding surfaces. The chronostratigraphy for this sequence constrained by four mapped horizons looks like this. The next step in our workflow is to create a Wheeler cube for the similarity volume. This is a prerequisite if you want to use the volume viewer in the Wheeler scene. The volume viewer does not support on the fly Wheeler transformations. This you can only do for inlines and cross lines. Here we loaded the entire Wheeler transformed similarity cube in the volume viewer. This allows us to movie style time slice through the data volume. Remember that each time slice in the Wheeler domain corresponds to a horizon slice in the normal domain. As we slice through the data bottom upwards the history of the depositional setting in geologic time is revealed. Quiet zones indicate low energy environments such as in deep marine settings. Lots of discontinuous features are high energy environments such as in shallow marine coastal and fluvial settings. Initially we are dealing with a transgressive system tract. Sedimentary structures are parallel to the paleo coastline indicating reworking due to wave or tidal processes. As we continue to slice through geologic time we recognize amongst others expulsion features created either by biogenic gas escape or dewatering, an incised valley with internal meandering channels and incised features sloping down into the incised valley. The feature is probably gas filled as evidenced by the strong amplitudes associated with it. Beaches or chenirbars running parallel to the paleo coastline and meandering channels running more or less perpendicular to the paleo coastline and cutting through the parallel sedimentation features. Let us now look at one of these meandering features in more detail. We want to know how this feature looks on seismic in the normal domain. To find the feature in the normal domain we move our cursor over the feature on the time slice in the Wheeler domain. As always in OpenDetect the inline cross line and X, Y and C positions are displayed in the lower left corner of the window. The C position in this case is the chronostratigraphic index that indicates the relative geologic time. With this information we can position an inline and a cross line in the normal domain cutting through the feature. Next we use the chronostrat slider to find the chronostrat index at which the feature occurs. And here we are, 
This is the seismic response of this channel system that we identified by straddle slicing through the similarity cube. This concludes this tutorial on straddle slicing in CIS.